So we're going to explore the design and provision area, and this is an awesome feature inside of Cisco DNA Center. In the design area, we're going to start off by taking a look at all the sites deployed across the continental United States. And then from there, we're going to jump into our settings and even be able to provision and add on new devices or upgrade current devices that we already have. So let's go into the network settings and talk about some of these sites that have been deployed. Now, in order for Cisco DNA Center to work, it's going to have to communicate with them our critical services and servers. So we see we have our Cisco ICE server, Identity Services Engine. That's being allowed and used for our authentication in order to have our devices being command and controlled from our Cisco DNA Center. We've got DHCP specified, DNS is specified, syslog, SNMP, NTP, and of course, time zone and message of the day. That's cool. On uh, device creds, how are we actually coordinating and working with the internetworking devices, of which we had 77 of them, deployed across our 12 sites? Well, our Cisco DNA Center can utilize Cisco command line, so we've got our creds for username password, probably Cisco Cisco, and the enable password referenced as well. Besides CLI, our DNA Center can use SNMP. We have version 2C deployed at this time. We've got our community strings. It also supports SNMP version 3. It supports HTTPS, but we're not using that this time, so let's just continue onwards. Address pools. Again, this is the power of intent-based networking and rolling out automated deployments. We can list out all the possible addressing pools across our 12 sites, and then we can reference these at any time on our network devices and inside of our site configuration. This is awesome. We have our SP profiles, which is our service provider. We use this with our quality of service. We list out the different service providers that we'll be using across the 12 sites, and again, we can reference these on those edge devices that are connecting outbound. Wireless is my personal favorite, deploying our wireless profiles right here inside of our network settings and again, referencing them at a later time. A quick example of what it looks like, I can click on my Corp SSID, click on edit and check it out. We've got our SSID name that we can edit. If it's used for voice and data or data only, iOS specific fast lane, broadcasting the SSID, going dual band, as well as even security with enterprise or pre-shared key. I love this stuff, this is so cool. Now, in Image Repository, we can actually focus here on those operating system updates and upgrades. Look at this. We can list out those device families. We can even go in here and click on Update Devices and say, you know what? Forget design. Move onwards. Provision. In Provision, we have that Update Device button we clicked on where I can literally go inside of here, check mark a network device, which we see listed at a specific site with a serial number, its uptime, what it is, the IP address. I can go to Actions and I can update the operating system image right here with the click of a mouse. I love it.